Hello everyone, uh, here I have a HP LaserJet P3015. I've attempted to fix this error message that we get, which is the 49.4C01. I've already tried changing the formatter card. That did not work. Then I tried doing, uh, well before that I tried doing a clean boot, I tried doing the NVRAM reset, I tried the hard drive initialization, I tried to skip hard drive, I believe it is, and none of that worked. So now this is my last try. I basically bought the ECU card here, and I'm going to go and install this, figure out how to install this, and then we'll see if this error goes away, or if I continue to have it. Alright, so here I am. I took apart the side of the, of the printer. This right here is a formatter card, which I have the original one. And the uh, ECU card is this thing right here. And basically this goes, is this panel that's right here. So it's a bit of a pain to get it out. You basically have to take out a lot of screws. There you can see all the screws that I have. Uh, I took out a bunch. I took the piece out. There's all these wires on these uh, this side that you have to either take a picture of so you know what order they're going. They all fit in a unique location. Uh, so it's not too hard, it's just the length are really, really tight. And then you have this fan that you have to take off. And then here are the other cables on this side. You can see all those cables there. So there's a bunch of cables. So I took it all out. I replaced the card already. I put a few cables in and I plugged it in and it seems to work. Um, I was able to get a ready signal. Uh, this piece right here also goes right on top right here. So I put everything in with only a few screws. I've turned it on and, and it said ready. And I did hear the motor of the printer. So that's telling me that something has changed. So now i got to figure out how to put it all together so I can close it. And then I'll try out the test and see if it actually works. One more note, um, I had it all closed up and then I started it up and it started making this really bad noise of something scraping something. So basically I, fi I figured out that right here there's this little wheel in here that spins. And this piece right here, this plastic piece, was uh, not locked in correctly. So it was hitting this wheel making a really loud noise. So then I had to reopen it and then I had to fix this by attaching this where it snaps into these locations here that you can see. So make sure that you put this piece in correctly because if you don't, then this is gonna hit this wheel that's back here and it's gonna make this really loud noise when you start, start it up, all right? So, all right, so I put the side panel on right here. So it's all back in place. Took me a while to do that. I plugged it in and now we're gonna turn it on and see if it works. It should work because it worked before. One thing you can tell is that the motor now turns on. So that's an indication that it's better than before because before that it was not making that noise. It does the memory count and then you can see it'll do the one out of six all the way to six out of six. So here it's booting up. And we'll let it go. You should see a message that says initializing, and then it'll say ready after that. So now my next step is to make sure that the network connection on it works and I'm able to print via the network. So that's what I'm gonna try next. I'm not too worried about that not working. So let's see, message, initializing, processing, And then after processing, we should get ready. And there's ready. So, seems like it's farther along than before. I already did a test print from here and that worked. So everything in here seems to be okay. All right, thanks a lot.